Welcome! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a new utility from Helicon Soft called Helicon Montage, a smart program that lets you easily copy parts of images. You can even preview how an object appears on the target image while you're selecting the object. And selecting an object is very easy using the sensitive selection brush with its real-time preview feature. Let's get started! The source image is on the left and the target image is on the right. To change the brush size, I scroll the mouse wheel. First, I click on the source image to select a part of the object I wish to copy. Then I click on the target image where I want to place the object. Next, I continue selecting the object on the source image. When I first make a rough selection, I can use the default brush parameters. But when I want to fine-tune the edges of the object to create a more precise edge, I have to use the edge sensitivity parameter to make the selection brush sensitive to the color. Then the brush will select similar colors and exclude all other colors. This lets me select all of a figure and nothing beyond it precisely. I first position the brush along the edge, next press the 2 key, and then rotate the mouse wheel to change the edge sensitivity. Notice how the selection changes. Each brush stroke adds an area to the selection, so I continue clicking to select the whole area that I need, varying the edge sensitivity as necessary. Notice that the size of the source object doesn't fit the size of the target image, and that the position is not quite correct. I will fix this with Move Mode. Now I've switched to Move Mode and I've changed the scale. Then I drag the cloned object as needed. But now the hair of the woman from the original image is visible behind the cloned image. To correct this, I will switch back to Create Selection Mode and then will select parts of the background to cover her hair. Here I'm making the brush softer so that the background replacement will be less noticeable. The right edge of the selection where the hair of the two women touches looks messy. To correct this, I choose the deselect brush and erase the selection. Now you can compare the original and resulting images by clicking on the target image with the right mouse button. I hope you liked this tutorial and that you'll enjoy using Helicon Montage.